Yes, I do. But first of all, first of all, before I say that, I think I have to um, I say a very big thank you to New New Me for the Cricket um, Club in, in Connecticut. <laughs> Hey there, cricket lovers. Welcome back to another episode here on the Reverse Scoop channel. And today, I have a very special guest joining me today all the way from Nigeria. He runs Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket, cricket Academy in Abuja, Nigeria. And I want to welcome him on board to discuss, um, you know, the work that he's doing at the grassroots level in Nigeria and, and how he's developing the game um, from the grassroots there. So I want to welcome him on board, Oki Jamal. Jamal, welcome on board, brother. How are you doing? Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Nabil. Thank you for having me on the show. Man. Absolutely, man. So, Jamal, I mean, you know, obviously, Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket Academies, I, I want to talk to you about. I want to highlight the work that you're doing on this podcast today. So you want to talk a little bit of background to, to the viewers about Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket Academy and its mission and the vision that you guys are uh, looking to achieve? Okay, thank, thank you, Nabil. Um, Northern Cosmopolitan Academy is um, an academy based here in Abuja, Nigeria. This is the, the federal capital territory of Nigeria. Um, I started um, in the year 20, 2022. Yeah, 20, late 2022, that's when I started the academy. And then um, I think um, I got the vision from watching watching um, other other sports in Nigeria. Like there's this place, there's this um, tennis, where they play, kids play tennis. And they have, they have a lot of kids that play tennis there. And most times you notice that most of them, they don't get to go far with the game, the tennis and all that. So I, I had to incorporate them into cricket and have, have, with the fact that there was, there was no much development here in Abuja. So I had to bring them into cricket, and most of them coming from a very um, poor background. I'm sorry to use that word. I had to incorporate them, and I, I remember how I started playing cricket. Also, I I think I saw I saw future. I saw I saw talent in the boys, and that was why I actually started the academy. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So like the goal was to really grow the game right from the grassroots and and have the youth youth really learning about the game in nigeria so how's the how's the progress been over the last couple of years jamal through the through the growth of the game and the youth development and uh, are are the numbers growing in the youth cricketers over there um so sure. what's what is it looking like right now um i i would say it's it's looking very good for nigeria and um because um, from the last, from, from the record we had last year, and now there was a tremendous um, growth in, in involvement of kids in the game. Um, I think today, today we had a meeting and uh, where, where we had a data and, and, um, the, and the analyst who was analyzing the whole thing, and we, at the end of the day, you notice that there's there's a significant growth in cricket uh, involvement in Nigeria. I think that that's an angle we've been we've been trying to um, push because. Um, Nigeria being a big country, um, the ICC gave us a big mandate that we have to get in the numbers, we have to um, get more people involved in the game, which I believe um, the Federation, the Nigerian Cricket Federation, we are, we are trying to um, improve on that. And coming to my own academy, I uh, would say there's, there's been a tremendous growth also, because um, I remember when I started the academy, uh, the way the boys were playing, and it, it looked impossible for me. But today, when I look back and look at the boys, the way they bow, the way they bat, and I remember when they started, I just, I, I, I only smile. And, and at the end of the day, like, when, you, when you start seeing the hard work pays, it, it's, it's something that keeps, keeps you going. I, I think the, the first time they played a, a tournament was last year. They played their first tournament last year, and we came, we came um, fourth out of fifth, out of the, the five teams that came, we had the fourth. And I think we had the youngest team in, in the tournament. And uh, I remember people people coming to meet wow. me and tell, telling me, "Wow, you you have you have a strong team here, and just that they are lacking in experience and all that." I said, oh, "Don't worry, we have the, the, the tournament is is annually, so I I bet you should expect something great uh, next year, and which is this year we are in now. And by God's grace, we'll be playing we're playing um, by next week. Next week we're playing in that tournament by next week." The same tournament we had last year, we are playing another one this this week. So, um, I, I believe um, everybody will come out and see whether there's uh, there's an improvement, which I believe there's an improvement, because I train with the boys. I see what they do in the nets. 
the way they play, the way they bat, the way they bow. And when you look at it, you know that yes, these boys are really they are really talented. They are, they are, they are, all they've been lacking is just game time. And which I believe going forward, they're going to work on that. Yeah, man, big time. I mean, and you're there as their coach, right? Guiding them through the the entire thing. So what, um, you know, you just said, obviously, it feels good to see them improve. And, you know, they're learning day by day. They're getting better. So what's the ultimate, you know, path for, let's say, a really good talent comes out that you can see playing at the national level? Um, how does that get that path for that youngster get defined, Jamal? Like, let's say a really good youngster comes in, you see so much potential in him that you you think that hey this kid can play at the international level so are there pathways for youngsters that you know guys like you obviously that are in position to coach them and guide them through a certain pathway to get to that level yeah yeah of course there is like i told you there's a, there's a tournament coming up um, next week and the tournament is called the um, um, pwc on the 17 um, championship and um, it's, it's it's a an, an age group tournament for for the young ones here in nigeria so, and that's where that's where we pick most of our under 19 players from. Like I said, they played last year. This year they're going to feature again. So those 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 that perform well in this tournament, they they get selected. We have the selectors there. We have the under 19 coach there. They, they they try to pick the best and try to form a form a team whereby they pick maybe let's say they can pick up up to 25 players from the tournament and start grooming them grooming them and we have a um, first team and the and the A team. So if if you're on, if you're on the main team and, and you're you're not performing well, they take you to the to the A team, whereby they groom you and groom you and maybe at the end of the day, that's what will pick a crop of our on under nineteen players. So there's a pathway for them. Uh, it's not just playing for fun. We're, we're looking to make them professionals in the future. So the pathway is you play in the PWC and then get seen by the selectors when the selectors pick you, they take you to another another section where, where whereby the coaches will work on you and find, try and fine tune your your skills and all that, and hopefully you make you make it to the to the under nineteen team. That sounds good, man. So like, so the process is essentially is defined by the Nigerian Cricket Federation, and and there's like what kind of support is there at every level of the stage? Like, are you guys getting support from Ni Nigeria Cricket Federation, and or that can be improved? Um, and from the ICC as well. Like, is, is the board itself, is Nigeria Cricket Federation getting the, the correct support from ICC? Uh, has that grown over time? Yeah, I, um, I, I think I will commend the ICC because, um, you know, like I told you earlier, they, they gave us a target that we, that we have to meet. And then giving you a target means that they have to also back you up because they, they can't just give you a target and leave you. So um, they've been supportive um, in terms of um, funding and um, maybe... Um, giving us some some programs like i think last year we had some of some of our players that they, they were sent to south africa for some program and th this was the help of icc uh, africa yeah in, in in general they've been supportive of of our program and all that and i, I would say nigeria is also one of the top um, leading um, nation associate nations here in africa because we've, we've served as, as a role model to most of the countries in, in africa also that's awesome, man. No, that's that's absolutely great. Like, what are some challenges, Jamal, that, you know, you guys are obviously within the Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket Academy that you're right now coming across that you want to give a message out to your community, to your, you know, well-wishers around the world, you know, to provide certain type of support that you guys need. So certain challenges to highlight, um, you know, and solve and if, and potentially if they are solved, you know, the the quality will improve of, um, you know everything across the board for the kids. So a couple things do you have in mind? Yes, I do. But first of all, first of all, before I say that, I think I have to um, I say a very big thank you to New New Me for the Cricket um, Club in, in Connecticut because um, so far they've been very helpful um, in terms of um, giving us equipment and um, and um, playing wares and all that. It's it's not it's not easy, but they, they made it look so easy to for us and. I, I and the boys, uh, I, I, I wish we were here in Nigeria to see when, when the equipment landed and see, so see the joy in their faces when, when, when they got the whole equipment. So I think I'll, I'll have to congratulate I, and thank you guys. Sorry. I have to thank you guys for that, yeah, first yeah. of all, before I say any, any other thing. I think the challenges so far has been, um, f firstly, is from the from the terrain, the state. You know, the, most of them, they, they, they come from a, 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 a less privileged family and most times they, they tend to 
stay in a location, next thing they move to another location. And when when that happens, you lose a player and all that. Um, but I, I, I've been trying to get a relationship between me and the, and, the, and the parents to try and foster a relationship whereby there's a, there's a good communication. Even, even if um, a child is having a problem, I will be able to meet the parents and say, okay, this is what I noticed. Okay, if, if you're going to help us in, in talking to your child and all that, okay, maybe you have, you have a, a program for the, maybe you have, want to send the child on an errand. Okay, but please, we'll have, to, we'll have training by 2.30. Please, can you make it make him available for us? So these are the kind of things we try to um, uh, communication we try to establish with the parents. And another thing is um, playing time. Th th this, these kids are very young, and the more they train and train and train without, um, um, let's say, um, tournaments and then for them to exhibit what they've been learning, most of them tend to lose interest. And then that that has been one of my major issue in getting them to play um, matches and, and all, all these are tied to finance because you you moving moving players from from one place to another you have to pay for the for the transportation you're paying for the accommodation your feeding your, your everything basically everything ab around around the um, logistics you're going to take care of it so this, this has been also a, a major issue that I've, I've been trying to battle i think that's just that uh, that's just that I, I, that's all all i've been facing for now but above all, like I said, in, in terms of equipment, I, I think I've got that covered with uh, New Me Ford, what they've been doing for us, like I said earlier. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, it's, you know, like the goal for us as well is, right, is to obviously spread the youth cricket through the world. So, um, you know, if anybody obviously is looking to support Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket Academy and, and you guys want to make a donation to the to the club in Nigeria, Abuja, you know, you guys can reach out to me through the comments or through our new Milford Facebook group. And I can directly connect you guys to Jamal, um, you know, for any types of cricket donations you guys have. Usually new Milford cricket club does once a year donation, um, you know, out to uh, Northern cosmopolitan cricket Academy and we'll, we'll collect gears and we'll do a lot of things and we'll send them out. So if anything you guys want to do, you guys want to be part of it, reach out to me through the comments and through, our Facebook group, and I can walk you guys further in how to be a part um, in growing, you know, our communities together. So again, um, Jamal, it's been a great conversation, man. You know, anything else you want to talk about? Any particular kids you want to highlight for future that we should look out for potentially that we can get to see playing at the <laughs> international level? Couple names you want to throw out there? Yeah, yeah. I think I think I have a couple of them. Like I, I told one of them one day that um, that I, my my bigger plan is to see. To see us playing against New Milford Cricket Club, seeing us playing, maybe um, you guys come to Nigeria and play and play them. That I told them, and they were so happy. And so, I, I, what I try to do, I try to paint a, a picture for them where they where they visualize and see themselves that they, they could be great beyond what they are now. So, um, I, I think players we should watch out for uh, uh, the likes of them. Um, we have a, a young boy; he should be ten years old now. One of our best bowlers. He's called his name um, Abdul 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 Rahman, and we have um, the spinner. The spinner, the spinner. His name is um, a, um, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Ibrahim is an off spinner. And funny enough, he, he plays. You know, he now plays with the um, with the senior senior side. Um, oh, wow. There's a, there's a, they, they call him to come and bowl in the nets. That's for you to know how good he is. And he's just he's just 11 years old. Then uh, there's one other boy. His name is Abdul. Abdul is one of the one of the greatest um, players that I've seen that have improved from la last year to this year. Last year, Abdul, Abdul wasn't a bowler. I, I, I couldn't give him a ball to bowl because I was always scared. Or he could bowl a wide, he could just, he couldn't control the ball. But now yeah. Abdul, Abdul is someone that even me, if, I, if I'm with a bat and he's with the ball, I'm scared because this, this boy is yeah. very quick. He's so quick. And a couple of them have lefties. And the good thing about my academy, I try to, uh, I have a lot of lefties in my team. So, and yeah. um, people, I keep asking me, why do you like lefty? I just say, okay, don't worry, don't worry. When the tournament starts, you understand why I love lefties in my team. So I have a yeah. couple of lefties. Um, um, uh, the two brothers, uh, Abdul's brother, uh, Yaku. That one is a lefty. Very, very excellent bad batter. He's very good. Oh, yeah. Very good. So I believe in the future, maybe one day we're going to come or you guys come to Nigeria and play them. Then you understand what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I'm looking forward to that and I would love to come out there. And, you know, and come play with these kids, man. I mean, so we got Abdul Rahman, we got Ibrahim, we got Abdul, and we got a Yakub. 
So those four guys yeah, yeah. should be uh, looking out for huh, in the future. So, you know, amazing, amazing conversation with Jamal here. Guys, again, if you're just joining us for this conversation, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon for more updates, um, as well as if you look into the description, we've just launched our reverse scoop shop where, you know, we support nonprofits like Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket Academy and New Milford Cricket Club um, with the sales that we generate from that store. So be sure to click the link in that description or reverse scoop shop, check out the shop and any sales generated through there will be going to academies like North, uh, Northern Cosmopolitan Cricket Academy and the New Milford Cricket Club to support youth cricket from the grassroots level. Again, Jamal, thank you so much for joining me, brother. Uh, you know, we'll do it again next time. Do you have any last words again before we sign off here? Um, I would like to say a very big thank you to you, Namu, first of all. And then also Mr. Patrick. I, I told you I met Mr. Patrick here in Nigeria. He came. Mr. Patrick is a wonderful host and he has a very lovely family. And to all, all uh, New Milford Cricket family in Connecticut, uh, this is me saying a big thank you to you guys. And um, I really appreciate and I, I, I wish I could give you all a big hug, but I'm, <laughs> I can't do that right now. But... I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Nabil, for this opportunity. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. We're here to work together and grow together. And again, guys, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button. Check out the Reverse Scoop shop to support youth cricket development at the grassroots level here in New Milford, Connecticut, beyond, and in Nigeria, working with Jamal here. So again, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. This is Nabil Khan and Jamal signing off from here. Have a great day, everybody.